Hey guys, welcome back. I have some exciting plans to show you today. Oh my god. I can't believe I found any of these, to be honest. But I'm so glad that I did. <laughs> Alright, so first... I found a Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight in a Kroger of all places. Oh my gosh. I saw him and I was like, is that what I think it is? Is it? Is it? So I had to do a quick Google search and it was. <laughs> so I was like, snitch. <laughs> so he was $17. Um, and it's actually from Costa Farms. So Costa Farms is upping its plant game as well. He's beautiful. He has all this new growth here. All this new growth. Seems super happy. I'm super happy to have him. And he's doing awesome. I'm so glad I'm able to like make him happy because I was worried. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to care for him. But he's doing good. So. <laughs> Next up is another one I'm super excited about. Look at him! It's a Philodendron Narrow, but I also read that they're called Philodendron Jungle Buggy or Tiger's Tooth. So I saw this guy in this new nursery I went to over the weekend, and this leaf just screamed at me. It screamed at me. It was like, Beach, come get me! <laughs> so I was like, I, you convincing. <laughs> and when I got him, he had this new leaf right here. It was really tightly like wound up though and it's just now starting to unfurl which is super exciting super excited oh my god i love him so much look at him and he was also 16 what was he 16.99 and i thought it was a pretty good price and considering these are pretty like rare i'm just gonna say he pretty rare like i've never seen one of these in person before let alone any kind of like regular plant store so he's an awesome find look at that leaf <laughs> okay okay the next plant isn't really rare it's more uncommon and especially in this form so next up is the watermelon pepperomia I know that they're more like available now in like big box stores and stuff but only as like the big like pots for $17 like that's the only kind I've seen for the watermelon pepperomia so I was super shocked to see him this tiny because that's my kind of level okay especially with uncommon plants the tinier the better because I feel like it has a better chance of surviving in my hands if it's smaller and I can like keep track of it so I saw this little guy look at him he's so cute look at that he was $4.99 I believe. He was $4.99 and I thought it was such a great price for this little guy. And I've been wanting one for a long time so I was super happy to find this one. And I found this one at the same nursery I found the Philodendron Narrow at. So that was a fun day. Fun day. At that same nursery I also found they sold black gold potting soil and I've never seen that sold in stores around me. So it was super exciting. I picked up a bag of their like succulent mix and I've been trying it out actually you're proud of this guy with that new soil so hopefully he does really well because I heard that's a really good potting soil to use so there's this guy up next is this one little plant that I saw the other day oh my gosh I'll just show you okay here he is he's a an Opuntia fat fingers I found he was called and I saw him at a Lowe's the other day and what immediately made me fall in love with him was how thick and fat his little um his little sections are they're so ch chonky he's such a chonky boy I love him so much so the the one I saw initially looked pretty like in bad condition it didn't look good at all so that was the only reason I didn't get him right then and there but I kept thinking about him, so the next day I went back to that Lowe's just to see if maybe they got some new ones in. 
And I found this little guy in the way back, way back of like a shelf in a deep, dark corner. And I found this guy and he looks so healthy and he has new growth right here. I don't know if you can see it. New growth. So I was like, okay, he happy, he healthy. I'm going to get him because I looked online to see if I could find him online. And the only listing I saw of him was a chunk this size on Etsy was going for $5 for this chunk alone. So I was like, no, <laughs> nah. So I got, I just said, I'll go back and see if I can find him. And I found him. So he was about $7 and I don't regret it at all. Look at him. He beautiful. I love how chunky he is. Yes. Love him so much. Now, last but not least, this last plant isn't super rare. It is kind of uncommon and I think it's I think it's pretty uncommon where I live. So, it made the list and is also part of the plant hall. So, <laughs> it's this little Dracaena Jade Jewel. It's so pretty. Like, I'm usually not a fan of Dracaena. Like, they just don't do anything for me. Personally, I don't feel any, like, connection to those kinds of plants. But, I saw this, um, this particular coloration of Dracaena, and it just spoke to me. It, like, stood out to me. It really appealed to me. So I was like, ooh, I would love to own one of these. and made my list of, like, my wishlist plant plants. And I went to Lowe's the other day, and I found them. This is the only one there, and it's small, which I was looking for, and yeah, so I got him. Oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. I love, I just love it. I love how it has the white stripes on the ends and the deep green and white centers. It's just a beautiful plant. Love him so much. All right, that's it for this plant haul. <laughs> All right. So, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Comment which plant in this haul was your favorite or which one you like the most. I'm also now on Instagram. If you want to see more planty, fun planty things that don't make my videos, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, guys. It'll be on the screen now. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!